All right, dozens of new projects across the city will bring changes to Milwaukee's roads this year. The Department of Public Works sharing that list with the I-Team. In tonight's Project Drive Safer report, TMJ4's year-long initiative to combat reckless driving, Sean Gallagher breaks down the areas that will see improvements. There are some 50 projects planned this year from the Department of Public Works. From small to large, the department feels this will have a dramatic effect on Milwaukee's reckless driving issues. We're really ready to hit the ground running and construct a lot of things in 23. There were 26 projects completed last year, with roughly twice as many planned for this year. Five of those new projects are categorized as major in DPW's plan, impacting seven aldermanic districts. I asked DPW City Engineer Kevin Muse what classifies a major project. It's exactly what it sounds like. The biggest projects that involve you know, full reconstructions of larger lengths of roadway or a substantial resurfacing, um, usually again on some of the bigger roads in the city. Let's take a look at Walnut, for example. Since 2010, there have been 50 crashes injuring 78 people on this eight block stretch from 20th to 12th Street, according to numbers from Wisconsin Community Maps. Now, it'll be reimagined. It's gonna go to one driving lane in each direction, and we're gonna be adding raised protected bike lanes as part of this design. Um, so we really think, even though it's a short stretch, it'll be a great asset for the neighborhood um, and for the, the area around it, and also a bit of a uh, showpiece for what we'll be able to do in the future. Of the 50 different projects, these areas shown on this map will see the most changes. Muse says even the smaller projects, like the more than two dozen planned permanent concrete bump outs, could pave the way in changing the dynamic of Milwaukee's streets. We're excited about the spread of the traffic calming projects. We're reducing the number of driving lanes, so the ability for more dangerous maneuvers and weaving is, is largely removed. Uh, the intersections are going to be much smaller, which does encourage people to make safer turning maneuvers and those sorts of things. DPW says most of these projects are expected to be finished by the end of this year, with the major projects extending into next year. 15 of the 50 projects will be funded by American Rescue Plan funds. News says this is likely the last year ARPA money will be available for projects like this at a city level. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.